stage. Uh, let me thank uh, the Toastmasters uh, um, here. I think District 82. I hope I'm not wrong. Uh, actually, I was uh, intently uh, listening to the talk by Jananjay, who was the, the winner, I mean, the world champion, and he kept repeating that people saw something in him but couldn't identify what it is. <laughs> I actually got the answer. <laughs> the answer is his mother. <laughs> okay. Because in all the three occasions, when uh, people were seeing something in him but couldn't identify, including his wife late at night, his mother was not there actually. And that is probably the most important reason that uh, uh, there was something in him. I'm sure if there is something in us at all, I'm sure a lot of it goes to our mother's side. So we must thank Dhananjay's mother for having brought out such a wonderful speaker. Uh, you have to tell me how long I speak. Do <laughs> you have any questions and answers after that? Or no? You can take that part as well. Okay, thank you. This is a topic that I have shared with several people, especially youngsters for several reasons, and especially youngsters in India, and I believe many of you are here, and I'm also glad that there are friends from Sri Lanka here today. One of the main reasons that we all get educated is to find a sense of peace, and there are three questions that we should ask ourselves. When we want to answer the question, each one of us, am I educated? These three questions should appear in the top of your mind. The first question is, it has two parts, A and B, but they are related to each other. Am I at peace with myself? This question is important because we know, and I'm sure all of us have had moments in our lives when we realized consciously that we were not at peace with ourselves.